Yo, what's up guys? Cast Blast back with some more Town Hall 9 Hog Attacks. Uh, and we're looking at the new and improved Hog Rata. Uh, as you can see, this is one of our top Town Hall 9 attacks against one of their top Town Hall 9 <coughs> 10s. Uh, but if you guys have been watching my last couple videos, you'll know my stance on engineering. Uh, you know, we, our clan fell into the trap a long time ago. Like, if you can't beat them, join them. But we decided to be some role models in the group and uh, kick out all .5s. Make sure we go full strength accounts only. Hopefully, we get the leaders in the community to follow suit. As you can see, this clan has not. Um... But hogs, man, they are strong. So we're going to look at some hog attacks here. This is your stoned Goho. I am a shattered Goho fan, but stoned, the goal of this, uh, you kind of need some higher level heroes and be great with that bowler use because you need a lot of clearing out of your kill squad and you kind of need your bullers to survive and do damage through the whole attack. So he comes kind of directly at both heroes and to pull the CC they got that outside mortar there to kind of collect up your golem. Um, that mortar spacing, if he would have thrown a golem over here, that wouldn't have happened. And this is going to aggro the queen there, which is kind of a bummer. Uh, but kind of check those tiles. Could have thrown the outside golem and, and kind of save some of that damage on it and some of the damage on his wizards. But he gets that trash cleared out of there. He gets in his heroes finally and his bowlers and he's going to jump and rage them right through both of those heroes and right into the range of the CC. Now it's time to drop both of your poisons. Uh, that way, if you have an issue not getting your queen and or wizard to kill any air, the poisons are going to rip through that. Anywho, uh, that that heal comes down on his bowlers, like I said, is imperative to keep those bullers ripping through the base. And now he's got his tank out front, his other tank out front, his bullers and wizards cleaning. It is time to think about starting your hog. But sometimes with this, like I said, you need to get a lot down. So, so patience on your stoned is a little more key. But as they move into range, you can see they collect up that expo fire. Now it's time to use some strategic strategic hogging to slowly take out a couple defenses tesla pops up not an issue his hogs are going to go to work he has one heal left as is with the plan on this um, so you got to use it in spacing where need be now as your hogs are getting worn out here let them finish that let them finish that but you got to know this is probably going to be the area of any trap so have that heal down before your hogs hit any bombs. Like that. Ah, you got to know that's going to be the spot. So have your heal down. Um, but with that kind of nerf to the giant bomb, most of the hogs or some of the hogs survive. And they finish out that last couple defense. But pre-plan that, guys. Make sure you get that heal down because all of his hogs would have survived. And it wouldn't have been so close at the end. Uh, but he kept his bowlers ripping through. Now he's using some cleanup troops, and that's an easy three star. So Hogs very strong, now even stronger, and it's a great time to get on that Hog game. Let's take a look at a few more here. So here is another stoned Goho attack. Easy three star with a swag at the end. Um, but... If I'm nitpicking, I'll show you where I would have gone different. So you got your heroes gathered together around some defenses, uh, a good trash ring and troops over here. You want to get into this part of the base and then up to the CC, kill off the heroes, right? Uh, but he does it at the beginning and he kind of takes a lot of DPS on his first golems. Now you have three, so I understand you can take some damage and he's lining up wizards there to kind of eat through those heroes quick as possible, but he's still got to clean out this trash ring or this trash ring. If that's where he's deciding to enter the base, I would have set down a golem out of range of these heroes and cleaned up your trash and then feel free to throw those down, eat through there and get your heroes in. I think it takes a lot less DPS on your tanks. Um, 
probably save some time and you're just going to have more survivability on the interior of the base. Now saying that, <laughs> what he does is very amazing on this attack. So he's still got, now he's got two broken golems and a full health one. He's got his trash ring alive and all important anchor building to get his troops going to where he wants so they don't take that dreaded walk around the base. So his troops get in to right where he wants. He's got two halves and a whole golem in. Going to jump in right where the base he wants. Uh, rages his troops. Remember, with a stoned attack, you're putting most of your power into your kill squad since you're wasting, not wasting, using all that troop space on those golems. So as they enter the core, uh, he, you can easily throw a heal there, keep your inner squad alive. And now you just got one outer ring left to kind of work your hogs. Uh, throws hogs a great spacing on his first couple buildings. Great spacing on the next couple buildings. His interior core is still going to work. And he's got that one healed. So with this, you only got one, maybe no heals for your hog pack. Uh, and he's kind of waiting to see if there's any traps. I thought there would be a trap right there. There wasn't. So his troops finish up on that last mortar. And hasn't used his queen's ability or the last heal. So, good attack. Good plan. Um, great clearing. Keeping that kill squad alive. Stone Goho was so strong before the update. And as you can see, those hogs just, they don't need much assistance. After you get most of the base cleared out with your kill squad, the hogs do work on their own now. Didn't need that heal. He throws it over the CC as you always should, <laughs> and finishes the attack. So great attack. We'll take a look at a few more here. So finishing up on the last stoned attack here, uh, you got all your splash damage, air damage, you know, on this end of the base. You got to get that down, get the CC down. But these type of builds with these single set, uh, spacing, you know, those are going to be traps. You know, those are going to be spring traps. So you got to kind of plan accordingly with your hog usage, uh, and realize how deep you got to go. Now he sets it, he drops the rage on this one and brings an extra heal to make sure his hogs keep going. Uses 16 hogs, a little heavier on the hog than maybe the 14, um, and using two heals for the hog. So Good and bad about it. He's going to let his kill squad die off. Now, the longer you can keep them, even to the end, the better you're going to be on cleanup and on your attack. Um, but it works out well. It's it's a three star. And hey, when you get a three star, you can't complain uh, by a second, though. Close call on this one due to that lack of cleanup. So he gets his troops in. His golem goes right for that archer tower, bypassing... The Tesla there, kind of weird. I know he wanted to anchor it out on that Tesla so he didn't take the damage at first. Gets his wall breakers in and cleans up that trash ring, allowing his king to go ahead and uh, slap his queen around and puts that jump in the middle there. You know, that's going to make sure his troops are going to get these down, no issue, and get inside here. And he wants them to clean up both of this to only his hogs will have to back end something. Um, three heals still left in the bank as his bullers come in. It's a delayed pull guys. You don't want those bullers to die right up front on that splash defense or hit any possible traps up there. So CC pulls out comes the next poison and rages his queen up or king up so that the CC doesn't come and shoot down on the bowlers. Great plan there. Uh, expos are still being tanked by a couple golems. And allows his bullers, queen, and king to just do work. Finish off the enemy king and finish off those expos. So good tanking done. But no rage use here and no heal on those bullers. They're going to die out. Now I think he could have got a lot more cleaned if he would have healed those bullers. Possibly cleaning out this cell um, and or raging them. So his troops really never finished that archer tower. It means he's got to kind of move his, his hogs, start on that end, 
uh, gets a little more damage on them. But now you know you're coming up to some spring traps. So there flies off his first group of hogs. Suspect you're going to lose another little group of hogs here. There they go. Three more. That's six hogs if you're counting out or expecting to lose three on each of those. So that would be 12 hogs you would lose total if you hit all the spring traps. His hogs take in a inner jump there and don't die, but they do die on that one. So only ended up losing a max amount of nine. I don't think three flew out on that first one. I think he only lost seven or eight. But leaves them with a predicament here because he didn't keep any cleanup troops. Now, what I always say is make sure no matter what you do, no matter how much you want to use all those wizards to cut your funnel, don't put them on the opposite end of your hog pack. And, and that will definitely secure any time or sort out any time disadvantage you have. Because he's going to push this one all the way to 2 minutes and 59 seconds. So close call, but it works. It's a 3 star. And hogs are strong. Hogs are strong. Nothing ended up jumping at that, you know, when his hogs were on the side at that uh, builder hut. And it, it pushed it right to the end. So stoned Goho, very strong. Make sure you keep that kill squad alive. Keep them pushing through the base. And you're going to see a lot of luck with this attack. Um, hope that makes sense. Ask me questions if you got them, guys. Let me know how you're liking the new hog buff. Uh, make sure you're following me on Twitter at Cast and Blast underscore C-O-C, and I'll see you guys next time.